Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk to you guys about a challenge I'm doing. It's a summer challenge, so I'm so excited. Let me sit you guys down. So I'm gonna be doing a six week summer challenge. I'm gonna be counting macros. And first of all, I am not an expert on macros, which is why I'm doing this challenge because I'm gonna be getting personalized macros. So macros are what our body needs, which is macros is short for macronutrients. It's proteins, carbs, and fats. So I'm gonna be getting personalized macros. So I've always wanted to count macros because I see that people get great results, which of course, anybody on a calorie deficit is gonna get great results, right? Like, we know that. But I've always wanted to do this, but I just never felt confident enough to do it on my own because I don't know how much macros my body needs. And since they're gonna be giving us personalized macros, I was like, this is perfect. I'm gonna do it. I can stick to anything for six weeks. I've done it before. So I'm gonna be weighing my food in grams and all that jazz and logging my food. And then also I'm gonna be doing workouts. So as of, I think like the last month and a half, I've been working out like three to four times a week. And now I'm gonna jump it up to six days a week because Quincy's giving us access to her workout app. So we already have the whole workouts planned Monday through, Monday through Saturday and I wanted to share this journey with you guys because it's exciting like trying something new is always exciting today is Sunday it's April 3rd I'm gonna go do some grocery shopping I feel like I've been doing grocery shopping all week but now that I'm starting this challenge because I decided to do it on Friday April 1st that's when I signed up for it I was like, oh shoot, I don't have liquid egg whites. I don't have, you know, proteins and blah, blah. So I was like, I need to go buy that. So I'm gonna be buying that today. If I don't meal prep, I'm gonna fail. So I have to meal prep a little bit because I do work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm in my pajamas because like, who wants to be all dolled up at home? I do not. So anyways, I meal prepped some chicken. It's just gonna be like for the next two days but it's only six thighs, but at least I'll have some for lunch tomorrow. So now that my chicken is done, I'm gonna finish watching um, before the 90 day finale, and then I'm gonna go back and do my strawberry spinach salad for dinner and for my lunch tomorrow. And it's super simple. I'm almost positive that I shared, with, shared it with you guys in the past. So this is the spinach feta strawberry salad. I probably said it all like messed up, but whatever, you guys see the <laughs> the salad it is so good and um it has red onion it's like super simple you guys i weighed it on my scale already i already put it into the um the app so this is the recipe right here exactly how much i have used on the salad i'm also gonna do the poppy seed salad because it's so good with this but just a little bit hopefully i can film and do this at the same time Probably like that. I don't really need that much. That's good. So I have about 137 grams of chicken with the skin because it's so good. So I'm gonna eat this for my lunch along with the other salad that I made for my lunch. Under my snacks, I put down this churro built puff. It's so good. I'm gonna do the IV hydration pack, which is unfortunately not zero calories. Yeah, it's not, it's 45 calories. So I added that as well for hydration because I'm going to be going to the gym. As you, Like I said, I'm going to be working out six days a week. So, and then I'm also taking an Activia mixed berry as a snack as well. It's finally time to eat breakfast. I woke up today at 5.45, but by the time I got ready, it was like six o'clock and that's when I started to work out. I stopped working out like at 6.40 and I only did a part of the workout. I did the strength training part, but I still have to do cardio. But I am going to the gym after work. So I'm just gonna do my cardio there. It's only supposed to be 25 minutes. I'll probably just do 30 um, since that's usually what we do when we go to the gym and then i can officially say i completed my workout of the day so 
this morning i have a kodiak waffle i have some oatmeal which doesn't look very appetizing but it's good i've had it like this before it's just oatmeal and then i put some egg whites a half a protein shake in here usually i'll put a banana but honestly i haven't planned out my dinner so i want to leave some carbs for my dinner and also like just more options for dinner so i didn't put a fruit in here um and then i have coffee so i already have my lunch prepared and then i'll see if i'm hungry later then i'll just eat the yogurt all right you guys so i am home i'm exhausted maybe it's because i woke up at 5 45 or maybe because i worked out twice today i am just so tired and i'm so hungry i literally thought i was taking like too much food to work and i was actually hungry so i'm gonna eat hopefully most of my macros today for dinner the rest of them i have a lot i have like 70 grams of protein and carbs like it's a lot that i have left good morning it's actually the next day but i forgot to share with you guys that last night i ended up having uh, this because i needed 35 more grams of protein and this has 30 so i was like i need some kind of protein and everything else was super high in carb and yeah i was like this will do so i had this last night and then i called it a night and i still ended up with having um five grams of protein left but i mean it's fine i did the best i could so i want to share like my thoughts on my first day and honestly when i was pre-logging all the food on sunday i literally thought like this is too much food like how am i even gonna eat this much like this is a lot well <laughs> yesterday i had a huge huge breakfast like it was i was like stuffed you guys it was literally 47.5 grams of protein 42 grams of carb and 15.2 grams of fat for yesterday's breakfast so which is the one i showed in this video and that I thought it was going to carry me over through 12, like noon time for lunchtime. But no, I was already hungry by like 10.45. Maybe it's because I worked out. I don't know. But that's when I had to have the, um, the yogurt, which is crazy because the yogurt, that little yogurt I showed you guys, only, not only, has 16 grams of carbs, which I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? 16 grams of carb for that? No. And then the IV, the IV hydration, what is it called? The liquid IV um, electrolyte mix literally has 11 grams of carbs, you guys. I was like, yeah, no, I'll probably just have that on my high carb days when I need to hit those carbs. But definitely not on my low carb days because that's like a lot of carbs. I'd rather eat them than drink them. But yeah, you guys, <laughs> I really underestimated the fact that I thought that I wasn't going to be able to eat all this food, but yeah, I definitely was able to. Um, I also didn't work out today, like this morning, so I will work out in the afternoon. But I literally needed to rest because my legs were toast yesterday, which is crazy because I did shoulders yesterday. I don't know. I think it was just like my whole back pain issue um, that was just blurred up. But... Um, my shoulders are definitely sore today because we did shoulders yesterday and then today we do legs which is why yesterday was a high carb day because we're gonna do legs today <laughs> so it's probably gonna be a killer workout but i'm excited and i'm looking forward to it but anyways you guys i'm gonna finish drinking this like i said this is not my break like this is my breakfast but i made a lot more than this it's just that this didn't fit in my 600 ml cup that I'm taking to work. So I'm just like gonna drink this now before I leave. So let me know if you guys want me to continue sharing like my meals and this little six week challenge with you guys. Let me know down in the comments and make sure to like this video. I will see you guys on my next video.